My name is Jill Jensen and I live in Central Virginia, just east of the beautiful Blue Ridge Mountains. My studio is in the basement of my home, so welcome to my studio. I'd like to tell you a bit about my background and then about the piece that I have accepted into Quilt National. My degrees are in chemistry and engineering, but I've always loved the arts. And so I have taken workshops or read books or studied on my own a variety of media, including painting, pastels, colored pencils, paper making, printmaking, and now surface design. Many years ago, I took a class at Aramont School for Arts and Crafts, and I saw a surface design class going on, and I decided that if that instructor came back, I wanted to try my hand at surface design. And that was my very first introduction to art quilts. So I come to art quilting from the painting printmaking side and not from traditional quilting. So for this piece, I combined both printmaking and painting to create the image. And it was completely created during the time of COVID. And in the beginning, people kept saying, oh, we're all in the same boat. But the realization came that we are not in the same boat. We are all in the same storm, but we're in very different boats. Some people are in yachts and some people are in leaky rowboats. So I wanted to get across the feeling of a storm. When I work, when I'm printmaking, I start with a plain piece of either wood, in which case it's a wood cut, or a plain piece of linoleum, in which case it's a lino cut. I do most of my design work on tracing paper so that I can work out my image before I transfer it to my block. And one of the critical things to remember in printmaking is that your plate is backwards to the final image. So for this one, I worked on a very large piece of tracing paper and I do an outline sort of drawing. I don't put in all of the details, just the outline. And I transfer that image to my printing plate. And then I use very sharp, tools to carve away where I don't want the ink to go. So there are U-shape and V-shape gouges. In this case, I used a piece of linoleum that is 24 inches by 36 inches. So I transferred my image to the plate and then I carved the design. So you can see it took me quite a while to carve all of the details into this very large printing plate. Once I have my plate carved, I then ink it with black ink and I use oil base inks so that it is permanent on either paper or fabric. And that's a special concern if you are printing on fabrics to use for clothing like I did on my shirt. So for this image, I printed it in black ink on white fabric. I then use a variety of fabric paints to add color. Most of my work is very brilliantly colored, but for this particular image, I needed something that felt ominous and storm-like. So I picked a completely different color palette to work with. The central image is this big black plate, and the inspiration was how do I portray a storm? Because we're all in a very big storm. So I thought about Hakusai's famous print of the wave. And the way that his is huge compared to the boats of the fishermen and Mount Fuji in the background. So here I have very large waves to help represent a huge storm. It's all swirling water that these poor little boats are heading off into. And then I wanted a very stormy sky above. My more somber sort of colors help portray the color of the storm. So in this piece here, you can see some of the grayer and bluer colors that I use to try to get the feel of the storm. This particular art quilt has three sections to it. The main section is a large 24 by 36 inch lido cut. And then the top and bottom panels, I carved two very small plates of small boats, rowboat sort of things. And in them, I printed them in random directions and then painted it a gray color so that it would feel like the boats were being tossed around in the storm. After I finished printing and painting the fabric, I then pieced it together and then layered it. And then I did machine free motion quilting to attach all of the layers together. So I wanted to complete the image in a kind of scroll-like fashion. So that's why it is a very long and narrow piece, kind of reminiscent of Japanese and Chinese scrolls. And I wanted it to feel like all of the sections were adding to the ominous feel of the storm. I hope that answers some of your questions about my 
particular piece, same storm, different boat. And if you have any questions, please contact me through my website, www.jilljensenart.com. Thanks and have a wonderful day.